Today we're going to show you how to make simple, inexpensive plant tags. What you need, vinyl blinds. They can be new, used. Uh, these were new in this case. They cost like $2.50. A pair of general kitchen shears. Um, these are the Harbor Freight 99 cent specials. They do a pretty good job of this. And if you go to a farm store, you can go to their tagging department for cattle and find a tag marker. Um, there's various brands. Uh, Ytex is one. This is a Z Tags brand. They tend to run about seven bucks, uh, but the the ink does not fade. It does not wash off. Uh, it's submersible. We've used it in our aquatic nursery uh, for many years. Uh, they they generally a, t a pen will last me about a year, so it's it's a, a little more than a regular ink pen, uh, but it it actually absorbs into the vinyl. From my understanding is how it actually works first thing you need to do is disassemble your blinds well we found that the easiest way to do it was to cut the string there and there and separate your stack of them And it's very simple. All you do is take them. You can do them one at a time. You can do them. You can do them one at a time. You can do them in groups. Uh, most times, we start them by cutting them. You know, it's up to you. Uh, the little ones, if you cut them in smaller sizes, are really good to mark your seed starting flats with. Uh, you can use a pencil on these. Uh, the only thing you have to keep in mind is pencil will rub off. It doesn't easily wash off. Uh, but the the tag markers work the best. When you get these, these will come with typically two tips. There's a fine and a broad tip. Uh, I prefer to use the fine tip. It comes with a broad tip, but this one does install. You just take it out and put your fine tip in. And what you have to do is find uh, something that you don't care about ruining because this ink does not come off. Uh, once it's on something, it pretty much stays there. You just gently push it down. Of course, there's directions on the packages. You can see that ink will start to flow in that wooden tip. And you want to be careful so you don't dull it down. But when you when you have your tip full, you can write on your your tag, give it a few minutes to dry. And there's a sheen that it'll have. Once it's dry, that sheen typically disappears. So after a little bit, it's pretty much dry. Uh, that ink is it should not come off that and the the tags we like to use our tags one season um, you can use them more I've had tags that are submerged for three to four years uh, as identifiers for various plant varieties of aquatics and the the ink lasts uh, it's just for the money it's one of, I think one of the best one of the best things to use and with a pencil, like I said, you can write on these with a pencil. You can rub them. Uh, they will rub off. Not. It depends on the blind. I've had some that rub off real easily and some don't. This is a room darkening, so I don't know if there's a difference in the, the material used. Um, but it, you can write these with a pencil. And I said these, we use these in, in usually thin ones, and I don't have the best handwriting um, to mark our seed flats. And because you can usually stick these in your peat 